the UK policy towards Iran. So pro a promising shift after the 2022 uprising in Iran. However, recent regional developments have painfully highlighted the adverse repercussions of the government's failure to prescribe the RIGC as a terrorist organization. The Iranian regime has enjoyed impunity both domestically and abroad due to the lack of decisive action from the international community. It has a dark record of cruel and inhuman behavior, including the massacre of political prisoners, brutal crackdowns on popular uprisings, and political interference outside borders, its borders. And as we've been reminded, more people are executed in Iran than in any other country. There is, however, a beacon of hope. The National Council of Resistance of Iran, <coughs> a democratic resistance movement working tirelessly for the Iranian people's aspiration for freedom and democracy. The NCRI, along with its resistance units, has presented uh, what is to me a credit, credible and democratic alternative. And it is encapsulated, and we're delighted to listen to Madam <coughs> Jarvis, it's encapsulated in this 10-point platform for free Iran, gaining, gaining support from global leaders and policy makers around the world. 